Well, currently a recall can be triggered based on the number of active register, registered voters, but this bill looks to change that. If this bill passes, recall efforts would require signatures based on how many people voted in the elected officials last general election. Representative Paul Hollis says this push comes after failed recall efforts, including in St. Tammany, Jefferson Parish, and most recently the effort to recall New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell. Under Louisiana law, cities like New Orleans must collect signatures from over 20 percent of active voters. In the latest recall attempt, there were a lot of questions about voters still on the rolls and if they actually still lived in Orleans. This bill proposes organizers collecting signatures equal to 20 percent of voter turnouts in the elected officials' latest election. Hollis says this would drop the number of signatures needed by half. He says his goal is to make the process of a recall more achievable for the people actually voting in elections. In New Orleans and anywhere else that I see uh, a recall effort, I tell those folks you, you're not going to get it because Louisiana, compared to all the other states that allow for it, sets a bar almost arbitrarily too high. And so at the end of the day, you're just going to be frustrated. We need major reform. And this bill will be heard at the Capitol today. We will be following for the latest updates. Reporting live in New Orleans, Adam Sadiq.